So I want to start on target, uh, if, I, if I may. Uh, how impressive was that number? It was extremely impressive. I think the key things for me were really the breadth of performance, the fact that they saw strength across multiple categories, the growth in their digital business, the growth in offerings like buy online, pick up in store or curbside. And, um, you know, the earnings flow through was actually quite strong as well. What about the outlook? I mean, it's interesting that Target rallied on the back of a good quarter. Yesterday, Walmart and Home Depot sold off on the back of very strong quarters because there were questions, Liz, about what happens when the stimulus checks and the extra unemployment benefits wear off and, and there's no back to school and holiday season visibility is very low. What happens to all of them? Yeah, those questions are very valid. Obviously, back to school is an issue, uh, and Brian Cornell addressed it and, and talked about the 66% of students that are starting digitally. But uh, what's important for them is they've seen that double-digit momentum continue through this month, which um, others aren't seeing. So others are seeing, uh, and Target's seeing a little bit of a moderation, but they are seeing uh, much more of the strength continue to flow through. I think that this, uh, this whole crisis has really upended how consumers are shopping, where they're shopping, and what they're shopping for. And Target's really winning on all three of those points, and particularly with how they're shopping, reconditioning consumers to shop through these um, extended offerings of buy online, pick up in store, or curbside pickup. It's really a game changer. And if you can keep people uh, exhibiting that behavior beyond the crisis, that's a real win for Target.